Well, what is up, guys? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to RimWorld. This is episode number six, and uh, we're we're doing pretty good so far. We've got our research, uh, some of our research done. We've got battery and water mill generator. So I think this episode we're gonna go ahead and build a new water mill generator just so that we can uh, get better power and hopefully we can discontinue the use of our wood fired generator. Minor break wrist on Bubby boy. What's going on, Bubby? How's it going? It's hot. Okay, I know it's hot. It's really hot actually. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't get too bad. And in fact, um, if it gets too bad, I might just I might put you in the freezer. <laughs> Slept in the heat. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but these rooms don't get... It's because they have so many doors and that sort of thing. They're not double-walled. Uh, it, it's a little bit difficult to keep them cool during a heat wave. But at least they're colder than outside, you know? 20 degrees Celsius is better than 44, um, I think. But uh, what else is wrong with you, Bubby? Just to make sure you don't... Uh, you have an unsightly environment. I don't know what you were looking at. Maybe you saw all this stuff out here, but... Uh, but whatever. And you're also, yeah, you're sweaty. So a lot of this is heat stuff. Eight without a table. I See, I don't know why. Are you guys all trying to eat at the same time? Uh, maybe I need to add another chair here. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to furniture. We're going to build ourselves a chair. And we'll turn it around this way. We'll add four. Why not? We can have four. That's going to be fine. Um, you're out of wood, so we're going to start running out of power. But for now, I think we're good. We have at least enough time to go ahead and make our water mill generator, which we're going to put right over here. If we can kind of find a place for it. Um, and it's going to be a little bit weird for us to, to find a place for it. But I'm thinking something like this. We could put it all the way out here. And that might be what we do because we might not have enough room for it. Or maybe out here, uh, kind of. Or we could expand. See, I don't know. It might, it might be a little tough for us to find a place for this. That might be what we have to do is put it put it kind of out there. Because we have a, if, we, if we put it right here let's see if we put it right there we have a spot and i think that might just be the only spot that we have possible let's see how close we can get it to our base because the closer to the base the better i think yeah i think we might have to put it over here yeah right there okay well that's gonna be fine we're gonna put it right there we're gonna have a uh let's let's go ahead and do something as well we'll, we'll go for structure we'll kind of expand our granite wall to be this way just a little bit and then maybe we'll use some of this area as kind of a growing zone to grow some more plants. That might be a good idea or something like that. Uh, but also we're going to get go ahead and give ourselves a door. We're going to go for a granite. We don't have granite. We can't make granite doors. Uh, fine. We'll go with a wooden door, I guess, for now. And we'll put the wooden door kind of over here. Right there. So that'll allow people to get uh, to and from here. Also, that's going to be the weak point for now. So hopefully we can probably make a granite door eventually or better, uh, some sort of better door um, would be maybe a good idea. I don't know. Granite wall. See, I can't switch. Oh, I, I guess I can switch this back to wooden. Okay, there we go. Uh, do I want you to prioritize this? Maybe let's go ahead and prioritize this anarchist. When you wake up, we'll, we'll set that to priority. Um, so far, our batteries are holding, which is definitely good because we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to run out of power in a heat wave. That that would make our stuff spoil quite fast. All right, Anarchist, how are you doing on sleep? Looks like you're pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Anarchist, you have enough sleep to go for the whole day. Let's go ahead and prioritize working on this. And you know what? Just my luck, probably what's going to happen is I'm going to finish this thing, and then a raid's going to come from this side right here and wipe it out. Hopefully that doesn't happen. We'll see. Here we go. Looks like we got some cargo pods. Let's jump to location and see what we got there. Uh, what is this? Smoke leaf. Looks like weed. <laughs> I want you guys to prioritize hauling this. Uh, Anarchist, you can keep doing that. But sword corn, I want you to go ahead and haul that. So you're going to be our main hauler. We can maybe sell this to people. Whenever they come in, at least. Um, how much steel do we have, by the way? What are you? Your textiles. Manufactured. I don't know where it says our steel. It might just not show it because we we um, we might not have much. Heat wave is over. All right, that's definitely a good sign. That's our silver. Yeah, so steel should probably show up there, shouldn't it? Plant matter. Where do you so where do you keep that smoke leaf? Not refrigerated. Okay, so smoke leaf is something that we have to keep in the refrigerator. Uh, let's go ahead and reset this a little bit so that it can keep smoke leaf as well. Uh, foods manufactured maybe. Smoke leaf. Drugs, maybe? Smoke leaf joint. Okay. Uh, medicine. Textiles. What are we looking for? Raw resources? Is smoke leaf a raw resource? No. Uh, where's... Okay. Hang on. We're going to search. Oh, there's no search bar here. That's a mod. Right. 
Okay, so we need to find plants for smoke leaf. Maybe I'm just missing it, but drugs. I mean, we've got all drugs set, so it's not in there. Um, items maybe could be in here, I guess. I don't see it in there. Uh, could be in buildings, trunks, corpse. See, I, I don't see it. Am I just missing it somewhere? It's not in foods because we allow all foods. It's not in manufacture. Oh, it could be manufactured somewhere, but we didn't manufacture it. It's a plant kind of thing. So where the heck is it then? That is, that is a really good question. Um, unfinished? No. Artifacts? Nope. Body parts? Nope. <laughs> wow. I mean, raw oh, plant matter. There it is. Okay. So we want uh, probably to keep, honestly, all these probably I think would be a good idea. Having the plant matter uh, stored inside the cooling area because otherwise we're going to run into a couple problems. So, sword corn, where you at? There you are. You're about to do some cooking. That's fine and all, but I want you to haul that. Uh, and then after that, once you're done with that, I want you to get the rest of this stuff because otherwise it's going to go bad and we don't want it to go bad. So prioritize hauling that. And hopefully you can grab that along the way. But I don't know. We'll see. Here comes sword corn. Here comes sword corn. Right on sword corn trail. Can you haul this as well? I, I want you to haul them both, dude. I guess maybe he can't. Let's grab this as well. And there we go. All that. Okay, that should be good. And then we've we've also got whatever else fell down with it, which uh, is not forbidden. So we'll we'll set a haul order for this stuff so that you guys can grab it because steel is always nice to have. Apparently we don't have much, but uh, yeah. All right, let's keep things in fast mode. It looks like uh, anarchist might still be working on this, or maybe not. It looks like he's actually eating. Um. Yeah. Oh no, he's relaxing socially. Uh, what do we need for this? Probably some steel, if I had to imagine. A zero out of 80 steel. Okay, well then, in that case, let's go ahead and make uh, Bubby Boy go ahead and, and mine a little bit. So actually, plant cut, go back to three, and we'll put mine as a three as well, so that you can cook if you need to. Uh, you can hunt if you need to. But we're going to have you mine as your main priority, uh, just to get some of that steel. And it might be a good idea to haul some of that steel as well. Some of that steel we just saw. Might be a good idea to haul that. But we'll wait until people are awake. Um, I'm still bummed. We only have three people. <laughs> I want to. I, I thought we probably have at least five by now, five or so. And in fact, we need to get this up real fast. Um, transport pod qua uh, crash. A civil servant named Kaga is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he'll be badly wounded. Kaga is from your enemy. Uh, you can capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes. That's a good idea. Let's take a look at this. Jump to the location and we'll see. Uh, it looks like Kaga is looking pretty bad. Let's take a look at his bio. Uh, very high intellectual. Well, not very high, but sort of high. Uh, very high social, which we could definitely use. Very high medical, which we can definitely use. Um, incapable of violence. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but also uh, that's going to be good. You can be a hauler. You can be a cleaner. You can be anything like that. You're volatile, which uh, means you have a mental break thing. You're pretty. That's good. That's a really good thing. And you're an optimist. Oh my god, I really want you. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to say... Um, who do we want to go capture him? I think Bubby Boy might be the only person who's awake. So, uh, and and the one with the medical skills. So that's that's not a bad thing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and capture you. Probably don't want to strip you quite yet, because I mean you have clothes, but uh, but stripping you is not gonna be a good idea. Bubby, there goes Bubby. He's running. Go get get uh, Kaga. <laughs> you can make it. Hopefully he's going to be fine. Uh, in fact, I, I do kind of want to get him a better bed because we currently only have a, like, a, kind of a sleeping spot. We don't have a bed even for this person. But um, Anarchist, in fact, no, Swordcorn, in fact, I want you to prioritize sewing this just so you make it kind of a nicer area. We have a medical emergency on this person. Let's see. Kaga, you know, I really want to keep you, so I might go, I might as well, like, I might use actual medicine for you. Yeah, let's use actual medicine because you're, you're going to be kind of very important. How are you doing for the damage, by the way? Uh, you have a crack on your spine. You have a right arm there, uh, which is not good. Just bleeding. We have a torso uh, and that sort of thing. Bubby Boy is coming with some medicine to help you out. Definitely good. Let's see what he uh, what he heals. Okay, you tended to the torso. That's good. What is your medical, by the way, Bubby? Just just a curious question. So you're only a six medical, whereas this person is a nine medical. So that's definitely good. We're gonna go to prisoner. We're gonna say uh, we definitely want to recruit you because you're a very important uh, person to us. It's going to be very good to have you in the colony. If you make it. You know, I, I mean, I don't want to go ahead and and uh, assume you're going to make it. But if you make it, it's definitely going to be good. All right, you're tending to the things. It looks like we've got three things tended. You've got extreme, 
blood loss, which is really bad. So hopefully uh, Bubby can come back and... Oh, you're feeding him. We want to get that extreme blood loss taken care of. So let's... Uh, I guess we can't do much about that yet. Can we? Oh, the blood loss is going down. Okay, that's good. So as long as the blood loss goes down, you get your food, you get your, your, your fluids and that sort of thing, you should be okay. Uh, Bubby, since, you're, since you've been here, I kind of want you to go in mine, but I guess you don't really want to do that, do you? Uh, Swordcorn, you want to go and haul some stuff, actually? Haul some of this steel over here. And that should give us enough steel, maybe, to, uh, to get this finished. We need 80. Alright, Kaga, how you doing? Still extreme blood loss, but it's only at 80% now. Um, and that's definitely good. Your right arm's getting a bit better. So, this is the first time I've actually looked at it, at this in depth, in depth. I guess the cut goes down over time, and maybe the, the stuff gets better. So, as it's red, that means he was, like, just about to die. But then as it becomes yellow, maybe it's not as severe. And then it gets lower and lower. So, that's 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 kind of cool. I'm starting to understand how that works. Um, what what time is it? It's Joggist. Joggist. That's July, August. So, it shouldn't be getting cold for quite a bit. We have enough meals for now. Uh, but we might want to kind of start putting some more stuff in our uh, freezer as well, maybe. Are you making normal meals still? What is your cooking level at this point? Because you should be getting better and better. It looks like you're... Oh, you're still at 2,000. Sorkorn, how about you? You're at 4,000. So you're getting really close to being able to make fine meals, which will be kind of cool. Um, and I do want to do that. I'm sorry to say it, but this rat's probably going to get butchered at some point. Because it's going to eat my food. And I don't really want that. So we might butcher that. We might butcher uh, Ryo again as well. Although Ryo can haul. So that would be kind of cool. Well, actually, his hauling is not really good. But but um, that's definitely good. Okay. Kaga, how are you doing? You doing good? Looks like your torso is still pretty bad. But you're, you're getting better. You have 70% blood loss at this point. Which is not as bad as it used to be. I think you're starting to come back, and hopefully you are fine. We have a mad buck coming in, so let's go ahead and grab everybody, and we're going to draft you guys. Uh, where's the buck? Oh, oh, come back, come back, come back. Anarchist, run. Everyone else, get to your stations. Bubby boy is going very slowly, I might say. All right, open fire. Shoot him. Oh, shoot. Where's our other person? Swordcorn, run. Run. <laughs> Anarchist is taking a beating. Hopefully this mad buck doesn't kill him. But looks like Swordcorn's here to help. Is this dead? It is dead. So we're definitely going to want to haul that. Everyone, you can uh, go back right there. Anarchist needs some tending to, which is not great. What's your percentage, by the way, of, of ability to get recruit, recruited? Recruitment difficulty is 61%. I don't think that's that bad. See, I don't really remember. Is, is higher better or is higher worse? So, like, is a 90% recruitment difficulty? Is that bad? Or is that good? Anarchist, are you okay? Yeah, it looks like you're gonna be fine. You should have a bite. All your stuff's tended to, so we're good. This is still classified as a medical emergency, although I don't really think it's actually an emergency. Because it's getting better. I mean, he still has extreme blood loss, but it's it's definitely getting better. His health was at, like, zero. And now it's, it, it's kind of going up, I guess. Kega is no longer incapable of walking. Well, that is good. That is definitely good. We got it. Oh, we got another one. Oh, shoot. Uh, a sailor named Ward is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. Ward is not affiliated with any faction, so we can rescue her and hope she joins freely or capture her for recruitment or slavery. All right, jump to location. Let's check on Ward. Uh, slow down real quick. Let's check your skills here. Uh, Ward is incapable of any skilled labor, but she's good at melee. Um, she's good at social and intellectual. So you're... I mean, we kind of want to, probably want to take you. We're not having any food problems, so that's definitely um, an incentive to take you. Uh, and also, I want to say that you could be a, um, you could be a, a either, let's see, skilled, you're not good at skilled labors, but but you might be good at hauling, and you might also be good at cleaning. So these might be things that we uh, would want to take you for. What's a teetotaler? Of course, the idea of gaining pleasure from chemicals. She avoids, okay, she doesn't like drugs. Um, please, uh, body is limited to artificial body parts are unethical and disgusting okay i think that's fine i don't think we're gonna have any problems there um you can't construct mine cook or plant or craft which kind of sucks but like i said you could be our like full-time cleaner freeing up some of our other skilled people to go ahead and do all that skilled labor so i do want to go ahead and grab you uh let's pause real quick we're gonna grab bubby boy who is our healer and we're gonna tell him to uh go ahead and grab you yeah 
That's definitely a good thing. And since you're really good with uh, melee as well, that's that's a good thing as well. Um, we have an extra bed. No, we don't have an extra bed. So you know what? I might go ahead. Anarchist. Uh, here, let's let's deconstruct this one and we'll deconstruct this one. Uh, we're going to create some new beds. So architect, we're going to go to uh, furniture bed. So here's the question. If I make these kind of beds, are they better or are they worse than a wooden bed? Like, can you make better beds is the, I guess, is the question. Anarchist, I want you to prioritize this. See if you can get it done before he gets back. Because if so, the, the, the person will have a really nice bed to sleep on. And that'll definitely be a good thing. Go ahead and make that. And then prioritize this one as well. Poor meal. <laughs> It'll spoil in a couple days. Alright, Bubby. Bubby, Bubby, Bubby. Where are you at? And where did the person go? That's the real question. Whoa, Bubby! I just told you to prioritize saving them. What the heck? Is the word still alive? Bubby? What are you doing right now? Attempting to recruit Kaga. Okay, attempting to recruit Kaga. Stop that. We need to go ahead and grab uh, Ward. Go ahead and rescue Ward. Let me make sure that you did that. If Ward dies because Bubby was like, screw your order. <laughs> I'm be so sad. Okay, you got her. Bring her back to one of the beds because she's not a prisoner. She's just a, uh, a person that we have. Which is definitely good. Um, interesting that you took that route instead of this one. But uh, I think that's going to be fine. Um, it's word actually... Kaga has gotten food poisoning from a simple meal. Cause in incompetent cook. Okay, well, unfortunately our cooks aren't really that great. But hopefully they start getting better pretty soon. This stuff's going to spoil in 59 days. We should probably go ahead and haul that eventually. But uh, Ward has died. Cause blood loss. Bubby, that's your fault. <laughs> All right, um, you guys are probably gonna want to go and grab her and put her in the um, in the in a grave or something because we do have plenty of them over there. That is so unfortunate because that would have been a nice person. Uh, but fortunately, Kaga might survive here. Intense pain, but um, but everything's looking good. Uh, food poisoning, which kind of sucks. Hopefully, they don't die from our food poisoning. Um, wouldn't that be so funny? They survive a, a, a crash. Then they get saved by someone, and then they die from food poisoning. That would be the worst kind of turn of events there. Um, Swordcorn, you need to go ahead and and, uh, and haul that person. Do not consume. I feel like what, at one point I'm going to accidentally click consume, and I'm going to forget about that, and uh, and that's going to be bad. <laughs> it's not going to be a great time. How are you doing? Indoor, it looks like you're a negative four. That's good. want to make sure that we keep that at negative four there. Uh, do I want to put a chair there? How much wood do we have? I actually have a little bit of wood but we have a bunch out here and it doesn't look like oh it does deteriorate wow i did not know that well kaga we're probably gonna have you i don't know what we'll have you do but we'll we'll see hopefully you become part of us or one of us pretty soon um anarchist is still healing which is fine um and now we're gonna take bubby off of self tend once we get this person by the way but, uh, but yeah, okay. Let's check, check on our work real quick. I want you guys to turn on haul again as a three. Because that's pr it's getting pretty important that you guys haul. Uh, we're going to have you as a two on haul as well, uh, uh, Swordcorn. So that's one of the most important things that I want you to do. Um, you're also a good plant cutter, by the way, I might say. Uh, so maybe... I don't know. We want to make sure that we get this stuff before it starts to go bad. So when it's at like 90% grown, maybe that's a good time. Uh, to get it but we also want to make sure that we haul everything so sword corn once you're once you're good at good for hauling you can go ahead and start doing that um kaga how are you doing you still have major food poisoning oh my god wow that sucks i really hope that that's not due to sanitary because we have someone set to clean um so i don't think that's the problem floors let's do a wooden floor right there so that because that, that looks annoying we have it like that. Uh, let's also connect this up a little bit and we'll connect this. I guess that's fine. Just make sure the, the paths that people take are uh, have to be nice and floored for them. Looks like this is a pretty common path. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. And bring it around kind of that way. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, how are we doing on steel? Did we ever bring that back? Oh, I guess we did. Oh, that's components. That's why. Okay. Um, the Anarchist AI spy is fully healed. The terrain here is already... Okay, that, that's fine. I was reading the top right there. Awesome. Anarchist is fully healed. Kega hopefully will get fully healed and not die from food poisoning because that would be hilarious, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, Torso is still pretty bad, but getting better. 
Whereas the right arm and the spine are almost fully healed, which is definitely good. All right, what are we looking at? We're looking at 20 minutes on the episode. Oh, uh, we almost got two people this episode. Isn't that crazy? Like we almost got two, but Bubby, I, I, I think Bubby, Bubby, it's your problem. It's your fault, man. <laughs> You're the one. I told him to go and get that person, but he was just like, nope, I don't want to get that person. I don't know. Maybe I said strip or something. I don't know what I said, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a problem pretty much. Uh, Kega is no longer incapable of walking. I didn't think they were in the first place, but maybe, um, maybe they were. Uh, our torso is back to orange. Our whole body blood loss is minor now. That's definitely good. Uh, and let me real quick. Oh no. We have a, uh, worse relations with the red duck guys. And we have worse relations with the, uh, the Gostia nation. So red duck and Gostia. I want to check where they are real quick. Go to the world, generate that planet. Hopefully they're not close. Cause if they are, that's going to cause problems. Okay, that's the red duck. They're more hostile now, so they might attack us more. And the other ones are... Where are they? I don't even know where they are. Are they even nearby? I don't know where they are. Oh, maybe that was them. The crack? No, it was something with a G. Yeah, I don't know where they are, but hopefully that doesn't cause problems for us. Whoa, what is this? Someone needs to haul that real quick. Uh, anarchist. Anarchist, continue working on that, actually. That's kind of important. Sorkorn, you are our hauler. You need to haul this, because otherwise that's going to uh, go bad. And in fact, why are you not hauling things automatically? Shouldn't you be a main hauler? Feeding a simple meal. Oh, you know what? Probably because I, um, I have Warden as the main thing, so you do need to feed him but once you do that you should go towards hauling as your main thing let's let's keep an eye on Swordcorn see if he does that attempting to recruit that's fine if it succeeds that's good resistance has changed oh we got a manhunter pack all right take everybody real quick and this is going to be the end of the episode once we uh once we do this let's take a look at where they're coming from oh they're coming from that side come down here guys uh manhunter pack jump to the location oh it's just a boomalope okay well that's probably not great but especially since he's kind of here uh, it's double boom lopes, actually. Bubby boy. Oh, shoot. Bubby. Bubby. Come back. Come back. Um, I don't know where he's headed, but, uh, but yeah, that's going to be fine. Hopefully, he doesn't cause too much of a fire, which he probably... Oh, God. Oh, God. Run. 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 Uh, guys, we need you to come over here. Come this way. Bubby, run. Run. Okay, fine. Return fire. Ah! Keep running. Keep running. Swordcorn, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you go up and hit that, even though you're probably gonna explode. Run, 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 run. Okay, anarchist, come over here. And shoot. No, we don't want to shoot. We don't want to rescue it. Come on, anarchist. That's what. That's like an easy shot. Anarchist, come on. Oh no, warg, get out of the way. Our warg's gonna get shot. We're gonna have a fire. You guys right here need to. Ah, I want to keep you where you're. Anarchist, are you serious? Anarchist, what is wrong with you? We have a fire over here that we need to take care of, but I don't want these guys to... Okay, you know what? Nope, nope, stop. Okay, there we go. It's dead. Now you guys can go ahead and unforbid, and I want you guys to go and uh, clear that fire out. Anarchist, you too. You can, you can undo that. Clear that fire. There we go. Awesome. Whoa, whoa, guys, guys, guys. Thank you. Nope, guys, I need you to... It's not in our home area, are you serious? Okay, hang on. We gotta change that real quick. Zone, we're gonna expand our home area just a little bit to include all this stuff, because this is where we're gonna... We're, we're building here anyway. Might as well be our home area. It's gonna be our home area. That'll be fine. All right. Just gotta manually expand our home area a little bit. Because this, this is the area that's important. There we go. I think it should be. Why is this not in our home area? What the heck? And that should be in it as well. Sometimes the home area is a little bit weird. All right, that's good. Uh, I want you guys to go ahead and extinguish that, please. As well, it might extinguish itself. Hopefully, that that is the case. But yeah. All right. Well, we didn't we didn't recruit anybody this episode. We did get Bubby Boy injured, but. Um, also, we found Kega. He's not recruited quite yet, but he is uh, someone that will be pretty good to have. And hopefully next episode we can recruit him onto our team. Um, 
because uh, I, I think having another person in the colony will be good. It would have been nice to have that second person as well, but it's it's fine. She'll be fine. Um, it it kind of sucks, but it's okay. All right, well, if you liked this episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. I'll see you guys in the next episode of RimWorld.